time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and I'm here with Mr. Graham from Volair Media, and he is hosting the International Drone Day here at Marymore Park in Redmond, and he invited me out here for some shenanigans. Warning, remote aircraft in operation, do not enter. Check out this huge FPV racing field that they have set up here. This thing's massive. These things are gonna be able to hit top speed easily. All right, they're getting ready to start another FPV race. You can see, don't, don't worry about all the distortion on the screen. That's, that, I'm assuming that's not what you're seeing because if you're seeing that through your glasses, that's gonna be a bad day. My antennas are way better. Okay, yeah, this thing's just got bad antennas on it. Here's your, here's your chair, my friend. All right, let's do this. All right, we're gonna try out some FPV goggles for the first time. These little guys. And these are what, the fat sharks? Yep. Oh, wow. So basically through here I'm seeing, it almost looks like I just have like a projection out in front of me um, of exactly what this thing is seeing. Uh oh, I'm upside down. Oh, now I'm right side up. Wait, am I upside? Yeah, no, I'm right side up. Okay. <laughs> Things are hitting like 60, 80 mile an hour speeds down this huge straight. I'm definitely out? getting into this. Oh. I'm definitely getting into this. Right. I mean, the Phantom, my neighbors can shoot down that, not so much. Oh, look, somebody's trying to upstage me with their big fancy camera. Aren't you, Adam? Always. Big oh, fancy yeah, camera right, pants. Look at that thing. That thing's gorgeous. I want one of these so bad. Oh my gosh. Except, I, except I can't afford it. That's, that, that's rich people camera. I'll just I'll stick with poor people camera. All right, so here we have a DJI Phantom 4 that's been retrofitted with a lot of really cool stuff. You can see here it's got lumen cubes on the side with some brackets. And these things get bright. You guys will see my Emerald City Comic Con footage coming up where Graham actually used these and we were like blinding people, not intentionally. And then we got this little device right here. This is pretty cool. It's uh, It's got like a little grenade pin system here so you can hang anything from the aircraft and drop it. And the cool thing is it doesn't require any modification to the craft because it's just going off of the lights that are in here. You basically turn off the lights with the remote control and it activates the pin. That way you don't have to mess with the warranty or anything. So that's, it's actually really cool. So it shows that this can be used as like a rescue craft to drop something. And then there's another little thing over here I wanna show you. This right here, this is the, the Dromite. And this actually is really light. It looked heavy. Yeah. When I first looked at it, I was like, how is it lifting that? But this can attach onto the bottom of the aircraft. And what it does, it has a rope coming out of the bottom of it. And then at the end here, it has a little weighted like a grappling hook and you can drop this and then it'll basically just feed out rope so that you can fly this to shore like if somebody was trapped out somewhere and then you can tie this to a bigger line and get it to the person to rescue them. So lots of really cool stuff that you can retrofit to just what essentially a lot of people consider a toy and then you're good to go. I think this is really cool and demonstrates that drones are not the evil thing the media makes them out to be. Only when you like try to look in people's windows and stuff. By the way, don't do that. But. Wow, these things come in all shapes and sizes. Look at all the little different parts you have to build an aircraft to your specification. Gosh, look how small this little guy is. 
He's just a tiny little hummingbird. Oh man, I can't wait to fly one of these. And here we have the elusive Zachariah. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, hey, secure your security. What are you doing here? Who trusts? Get out of here. Who trusts what you with you a security Get badge? Get out of here. Dude, are you being serious right get now? Get out of here. You better not be being serious. I'm gonna get you. Hey, you all right, man? Yeah, can you stop for a second? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, this fine gentleman here, you guys might know as the Andrew. Nice hat, by the way, bro. Anyways, yeah, he's gonna let me fly one of these Autel, uh, what's this thing called? This is the Autel Robotics X-Star Premium. X-Star Premium. This is the uh, top of the line model that right. Autel has to offer right now. Uh, retails at $899. We're getting about a mile and a quarter range out of this aircraft. Oh, geez. And about a 25 minute flight time. Ooh, 25 minutes? Yeah. Ooh, I like that a lot. Standardize the uh, compass calibration. So those familiar with the DJI products um, will find this uh, very similar and very easy. Okay. All right, let's see if I can fly this thing and not uh, cut cut anybody to ribbons. <laughs> I'll hand you this controller. Let's do it. Thing, I'm not touching anything. That that's a good sign when it stays where it's supposed to when you don't touch anything. And here we go. The nice thing is it's not like RC helicopters. It really isn't. It's it's just because the fact that you can just let go, like you panic, you're like ah, and it stays where it's supposed to. That's what makes these things really not intimidating at all. Um, I would highly recommend this class of aircraft if you were going to get into any kind of hobby, drone, anything really because these things are a lot easier to fly than RC airplanes. And uh, they're a whole lot less threatening too. You can almost vlog with this thing. Could you imagine vlogging with this? Just like walking down the street, you're like, <laughs> you know, hey, what's up guys? You're here, 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 Possibly chop your head off, but it's okay. I'd be like, oh, get too close. So we do have a follow mode in this aircraft. Oh, do you? Uh, and that does follow off of the controller at this time. Our SDK will be uh, available uh, later this month, it sounds like. Yep. Uh, so we'll be able to do some more autonomous features, but this does have uh, 15 waypoints that you can set for autonomous features at this moment. That's awesome. Orbit modes as well as a point of interest, so you can drop a point on there. You guys can see the little, little camera, there we are. Fully controllable. Again, I'm not touching anything, it's just holding the hover. So the controls are pretty precision, so you can really dial in uh, where you're landing and all that. And then, better than that. Yeah, just straight down. They just hold uh, this? Actually, just straight down on that, and then it'll power down here in a couple seconds. Now, Autel, why don't you give us a couple of these to take out and really put through the paces, you know what I mean? So, you can get about 25 minutes out of this flight time, as well as this uh, quadcopter is a uh, very modular design, so we actually have a removable camera and gimbal. That's cool. So, later this year, you'll most likely see a couple more options for the X-Star. Yep. Um, more for the, the professional side. Um, this is a very good quality size that one person can go out and manage and get a job done. So we're looking for emergency services, things like that. Uh, most likely we're looking at thermal cameras as well for, for something about this size. So it's, a, it's much more manageable. It's not as big as some of the other quadcopters um, with those kind of abilities there. That's awesome, man. Well, thanks for showing it to me. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi, buddy. Hi, hi. Ooh, how close thing. Ooh, oh. you see my nose hairs? Ooh, yeah. nose hairs. Come on, thug life, man. It's gonna be good. Yeah, all right. It's gonna, be good. It's gonna bring it. All right, guys, well, they're starting to wrap up International Drone Day here at Marymore Park in Redmond, Washington. It's been an absolute blast. I'd have to say my favorite thing here today was these little FPV drones. These things are small, super powerful, they haul ass, and you get to fly them like you're sitting in the cockpit. 
it's pretty cool. Yep. And so Graham, thanks again for inviting me to this. This yeah. is Graham Volair Media. You guys all know him. He's been in all my drone videos. So if you guys want to see any drone talk episodes on FPV stuff, let us know. If you want to see uh, videos on the Autel aircraft, let us know. We're, we're really, really digging hard. And Comment to below. Comment below. Comments get us motivated. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and create those videos for you guys if there's enough demand for it. But this I definitely want to do. These are cool. I don't care if you guys hate this and think it's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> I'm making the videos on this anyways because I just, after seeing these things today, it's, it's absolutely mind-blowing. But all in all, I think this event did a really good job of showing that these can be used, drones can be used for utility purposes. They can, they, they can be used for fun and entertainment. And nobody died today. Yep. So even though like every other day in the media an airplane swears to God they see one of these, you know, they're never hitting anybody and then they turn out to be a plastic bag when they do. So I'm, I'm just saying, I think they're safe. I think they're fun. If you guys think otherwise, hell, leave it down in the comments. I don't care. It be, won't be the first time they've been controversial. And remember, drones are good. Drones are good. They're good. Like they got vitamin C and shit. All right, guys. Until next time. Do you think anybody thinks drones are evil is a jackass? Still smell like the yeah. cleaning stuff that I had. What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing? I got a cock. That's it. I'm going to smack Take three. Somebody just stole my camera. I'll get you. I'll get him. <laughs> vitamin C. <laughs> Oh, one more thing. I shot this whole video today using a Mogo pod. It's like a monopod that folds up really, really easy. And I'm holding it right now, and it's also acting as a stabilizer for my camera. I actually really like this thing. I wish I had started using it a lot sooner. But yeah, it's a Mogo pod. I'll have it down in the video description if you guys want to check it out. But it's really helpful on events like this where I'm moving around a whole lot, and probably at conventions too. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also, come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.